Okay, we're sorry for that interruption because um, the memory of the phone got filled. So, you know, just had to delete certain things and come back to the lesson. So we stopped at... Um, Revelation 13. Yeah, you can keep reading from Revelation 13. Okay, this is Revelation 13, 14. And deceive them that dwell on the earth. No, I read from 12, sorry, Baba Kasha. I was even reading the 14. The verse 12. Mm. Okay, Revelation 13, 12. It says, And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth and them who dwell in their ring to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Verse 13. And he does great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in sight of men. Continue. We already explained that. Verse 14. And deceive, deceive them that dwelleth on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do. Can. By the means of those miracles, because, you know, these people started going into different kinds of technology, you know. They started making all these artificial things, you know, all these different, uh, different technologies. And the people got carried away by this thing. Even to date, as I was saying, people are still wondering who can stand against America. People cannot believe that this kingdom can go down, you know, because how advanced they've gone. But hey, who, who make it people kings? It's no, get the book of um, Second Samuel of Abakasha. We read from um, chapter 2, verse 6. It's the most high that put people in power, you know. He make kings, he make poor, he make rich, he does everything, you know. And this is what people don't get, you know. People believe that, oh, this man can never go down, you know. They don't believe it. But this man's kingdom is wicked and it has to go down. Because if his kingdom doesn't go down, there is no way we can establish a righteous kingdom upon this field, you know. Did you find it? Can, yeah, read from there. From... Okay, this is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor and make it the rich. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai does all these things, you know. If the Most High decides that America is going down, it's going to go down. Remember the, the story of, um, of, 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 the, of, the, of the king of the, of the Babylon, you know. Mino, Mino, Tiko, we should get that scripture, please. That's the book of Daniel. Is it um, 9? Hmm? Okay, let's finish. Can. Read from the, from the, read from one. Read from one. Because the most I can bring down anybody at any damn time, man. This is Daniel chapter 5, verse 1. Belshazzar, Belshazzar. Belshazzar the, the king, made a great feast to a thousand of his laws and drank wine before the thousands. Verse 2. Belshazzar, while he, while he tested the wine, commanded to bring the golden and the silver vessel, which his father, Nebuchadnezzar, had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines might drink therein. And you see, this is spiritual. This is very spiritual, you know? They made a feast, they started drinking wine, and he commanded they should bring the, the vessels of, of the temple that they, they, that they stole from the temple, you know? He commanded they bring those vessels out, and they started drinking with those vessels that are holy, you know? And in which spiritually, and not only spiritually, physically, this is exactly what this kingdom here is still doing. Because um, at, at the siege of the Mansada, when they went down to Jerusalem, they took out all our, our goods. They took out all our gold, the menorah, they took out everything, you know, and these people, they use these things in their, in their, in their satanic rituals that they do. I'm talking of the high level witches. You know, talking of the queens of England, the, the, the Rothschild and all these people. They have in possession these things, you know, and they use, the, they, 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 they make jest at it that, oh, we have all these things here, you know. They are, we are also vessels of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We, that we are, we are, if you read the book of um, Revelation 18, it tells you that, in, in her hand was found the souls of men. Which souls of men? The souls of the saints. And we have vessels of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We're being used to drink all different kinds of wine, you know, philosophies and all different kinds of things. So we represent these vessels that, you know, these kings are actually using, you know. So keep reading. 
verse 3, Daniel 5, 3. Then they brought the golden vessel that was taken out of the temple of the house of Yahweh, which was at Jerusalem, and the king and his prince, his wives and his concubines, drunk in them. Okay, this is very spiritual, man. Kalalaya Bashemi Shai. We are also the same vessels. We were taken away from our land, okay? Because, you know, the scripture tells you uh, your, body your body is the temple, yeah. is the temple of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. And what's a vessel? A vessel is something that contains something, you know? In our bodies contain the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. That's why it is written, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. But these people have taken the vessels of the Most High, which are these, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and the Latinos. We are the vessels of the Most High. We've been taken. We've been used for all different kinds of things. They traffic eight our children from all different parts of the world. They harvest their organs. They drink their blood for adrenochrome. They do all sorts of wickedness, you know? And they laugh, they rejoice when they do all these things. That's exactly what was going on, you know, in the physical form with Belshazzar. But you see, this kingdom is different from the rest of the kingdom because they do everything physically and spiritually, man. They, they, they fulfill all things, man. This is the most wicked of all kingdoms you can find. Verse 4, they drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver. Can what do they do? They, 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 they have us in, um, in, in, in captivity and they praise their different gods. Moloch, okay, the Bohemian Grove, they gather there every, every, every July or so. And what do they do? They worship this tree six feet out, you know. They offer children sacrifice and all these things. When they do their Halloween, you think they just put on costumes. No. You have the main big ones, top ones doing sacrifices, you know? I once made my way into, you know, through the dark web, you know, and which I don't really advise anyone to go there, you know? I once made my way and, you know, there were videos, you, you could actually watch videos of them doing, you know, life sacrifice, life human sacrifice. Man, this is no joke. Hope this thing is not going to fall, okay? This is no, this is no joke, you know? You could actually watch videos of these crackers, these devils, you know, putting out life sacrifice, you know. They sacrifice babies right at your front, in your eyes, you know, without any problem, you know. So we are being sacrificed definitely not to the most high, but we are sacrificed unto idols, you know. When you go to the abortion clinics and all that thing, you know, when they start aborting babies and all that thing, what do you think that they, 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 where do you think they take the babies to? Or what do you think they do with the babies? The babies are not just thrown away, they are harvested, you know, being used for different sacrifices, you know? Keep reading. If you have something to add, you can add. Verse 4. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver and of brass and of iron, of wood and of stones. Verse 5. Of wood and of stones. Wood, going back to the cross, the Christians. These Christians are very, very pagan in nature. That they are also, they are very, very, they are pagan in nature that they, even know they don't even understand any dumb thing, man. They have a book they don't understand, man. You know, that's the God of wood. They have the, uh, they all have the cross, man. They carry the cross around. It's just like if you have a friend that's killed with a baseball bat, then you now make a chain of that baseball bat and you carry the baseball bat all around the place, you know. That's what these mad Christians are doing. Of stones. Islam. When they go to, the, to Mecca, the Kaaba right there, in which at uh, the past time it used to be called the Kaaba. They used to worship 365 deities there until, until the false prophet Muhammad went there and he abolished all the deities and left only one, which is called Alilat, you know? And when, you go, when, you, when they go around the circle, which is a, a, a shamanic pagan, ritual you know they all stop at the point and they kiss a stone you know a stone inside a vagina you know all what they do is you know to worship the queen of heaven you know go on verse 5 in the same hour came forth fingers of man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the the plaster of the wall of the king's palace and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. So the Most High, you know, it made a finger to appear in that hour, you know, and they saw a hand on the wall, 
because the most I got angry because you see everything is everything is gauged the most I has the most I is long suffering the most I Yahweh Shem Yahusha is long suffering the most I is patient you know he has a time gauge for everything that's why people 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 keep thinking people keep doing all lots of different kinds of wicked because they think the most I never judges they believe the most I is slow to judgment you know yes the most I is slow to judgment but be sure that that judgment comes and what it does it gives you time to repent and that's why we still have this time of grace you know seek the lord yahweh hashem yahushai while he can still be found you know verse 6 then the king's countenance was changed and his... the king's countenance was changed when he saw the finger you know they were having a feast they were being happy but once he saw that finger he knew there was trouble man and that finger represents we right now the prophets of the most high yahweh hashem yahushai that we're going outside in the streets we're teaching this truth we are the fingers of the most high yahweh hashem yahushai and these words that we speak are writing, they are inscribing those words, those, these, these words, they are inscribing them on the wall. Read. Okay, I'll start again. Then the king's countenance was changed, and his thoughts troubled him, so that the, the joint of his loins were loose. Can, and this is exactly what's going on. These people, they see us, you know, we're teaching this, 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 this truth in all parts of the world, you know. The Most High has woken up his prophets in the four corners of the earth. He has put the spirit on them and they are going out to teach this truth. Now they are trying to formulate some kind of wicked lies to come against the Hebrew Israelites. The elder Manata Zakba of South Carolina, he did a lesson the other day. Also, the elder Rakao of, um, of the UK camp, you know, they did a lesson on the news that these devils brought out. You know, they were looking for a way to connect um, the Hebrew Israelites with a black kind of movement, with a kind of violent movement and stuff like that, you know? They are actually looking for a way because they are shaking, man. Our, 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 our words, our truths has gone into the gates of the nobles, man. We're being brought into the gates of the nobles. These people, they hold their meetings and they speak on how to overcome the Hebrew Israelites, you know? It's part of their plans, you know? Because we're actually speaking the truth. And we are actually the, the fingers of the Most High Yehovah Hashem Yahushai. Now we are writing those words on the wall. Yeah. The king's countenance was changed, and his thoughts troubled him, so that his joints of his loins were loose, and his knees smooth one against another. That is, this man got so scared that his thighs shaking like this, and his knees this smooth one against another. He was shaking. <laughs> So that's the oh see this truth is so powerful because you see everything all these things happen in the spirit but it's happening physically right now you know we are the fingers of the most high writing and these people are shaking you know that's why they're running elta skelta trying to put in all different kinds of distractions you know news and all that bs just to hide the truth now they said they, 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 um, the NASA has employed, I don't know, the priest and all different kinds of crackers, you know, empty brains, you know, empty brain Christians, you know, to discuss about the, the, the chariots. The aliens, as they call it. The, 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 the UFOs, you know. They better call, they better call um, Vocab Malone, because <laughs> Vocab Malone knows what they are, you know. <laughs> so I have a preserve. This is regarding what you are saying. This is Revelation 11:11. 11, 11. It says, And after three and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh Bashin Yahushai entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and a great fear fell upon them which saw them. This goes back to this goes back to the book of Ezekiel, the dry bones, yeah. you know? We were dry bones, we were once dry bones, we had no life in us, we had no spirit. And what gives life into the body is the truth, you know? The truth make it alive. You might be dressed with the best attire and have the, the, the latest Ferrari, um, three, seven private jets and all that thing. But if you don't have this truth, man, you're a dry bone, you know? And you say it's when they came back to feet, you know, fear into entered death. into, into those, those kings, you know? Nice precept. Let's continue that yeah, let's continue. Then in five, verse seven, the king cried aloud to bring in the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. And this is what they're doing. You know, they're saying all these things now. They, they've employed all these, 
all these rabbis, they've employed Vokab Malone, they've employed um, all different kinds of people, man. Even in this Hebrew Israelite thing, they've employed many of many of these Hebrew Israelite camps, you know. They employ them, they've called on them. They are scientists. What's going on? What's happening? They are worried, you know. Keep reading. And the king spake and said to the wise men of Babylon, Whosoever shall read this writing and show me the interpretation thereof shall be clothed with the scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Verse 8. Then came in the king's wise men, but they could not read the writing. And that's exactly what's befalling these devils right now. They're trying to understand what's going on. Though the Most High has given them understanding to a certain limit, but the Most High has taken away that fact from their mind that, you know, their kingdom is going to be forever doomed. You know, they believe that their kingdom is going to continue. You know, they know everything that's going on. They know majority part of the things that are going on, but they are convinced because their Magi are giving them that hope that, hey, if you do this, if you do that, if we exterminate these people, if you bring out the Vicky Venom and we inject this thing and we do that thing, you know, we might continue, we might continue ruling, you know? They are, they are deceived by their own mind and their own magi, you know? Keep reading. Okay. Could not read the writing, nor make known to the king the interpretation thereof. They could not. Okay. There was the Belshazzar, greatly troubled, and his countenance was changed in him, and his laws were astonished. Verse 10. Now the queen, by reason of the words of the king and his laws, came into the banquet house. And the queen spake and said, O king, live forever. Let not thy thoughts trouble thee, nor let thy countenance be changed. There is a man in the kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods, and in the days of thy, thy fathers, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, was found in him. Whose, whom the king Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, the king, the king, I say thy father, made the master of the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers, verse 12, for as much as an excellent spirit, the knowledge and the understanding interpretates of dreams and showing of, Sorry. and showing of hard sentence and deserving of doubt. Go down to, read from verse 13. Okay, verse 13. Then was Daniel brought in before the king, and the king spake and said unto Daniel, Art thou that Daniel put out of the children of the captiv captivity of Judah, whom the king my father brought out of Jury? Verse 14. I have even heard of thee that the spirit of the gods is in thee, and that was light and understanding and excellent wisdom of as excellent wisdom is found in thee. And mind you, Daniel is amongst us today. Daniel is amongst us today. How do you know? The 12th chapter, the last verse, you know, Daniel is amongst us today, you know, and he's part of the truth. He probably is part of Great Millstone, JMS. Keep reading. Verse 15. And now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought in before me that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof. But they could not show thee, they could not show the interpretation of the thing. Verse 16. And I have heard of thee that thou canst make interpretations and dissolve doubt. Now, if thou canst read the writing and make known to me the interpretation thereof, thou shalt be clothed with the scarlet and and have a chain of gold about thy neck, and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Verse 17. Then Daniel answered and said before the king, Let thy gift be to thyself, and give the rewards to the another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king, and make known to him the interpretation. Verse 18. O oh, king, the most high God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, gave Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, a kingdom 
and majesty and glory and honor. And for the majesty that he gained him, he gave him all people, nations and languages, tremble and languages, tremble and fear before him, whom he would, whom he would slew. He would slew and whom he would, he kept. Whom he would slew and whom he would, whom, he kept. Whom he would, he slew and whom he would, he kept. In which the Most High gave his father a kingdom that he had the power to decide whatever. Yeah. Whoever he wanted to kill, he killed. Yeah. Whoever he wanted to keep alive, he made alive. You know? will live, he yes, will die. just like how Esau is doing right now. You know, yeah. the kingdom is given into his hand. He makes decision, yeah. you know, and he has all these clowns that he calls judges that they, 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 oh, damn, man, just keep reading, man. <laughs> keep reading. He kept alive, and whom he would, he set up, and whom he would, he put down. Verse 20, but his heart was lifted up, and his mind hardened in pride. He was, he was disposed from his kingdom. Kingly, he was he was deposited from his kingly from his kingly throne. throne, and they took his glory from him. And that's just to tell you that the Most High operates every damn place. You know, he operates through the heart of men. You know, man does not do anything of his own free will. Free will does not exist. The Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahshai decides. You know, the going of man is into the hands of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. How does he decide his own ways, man? You know. This man, where well, he had a kingly throne, and pride over, overcame him. Just like pride is, pride is overcoming Esau, you know? Then what did the Most High do? He turned him down to a beast. You know, he gave him the, the heart of a beast. The Most High is capable of doing all these things, you know? You wanted to bring a precept? No, I don't think a precept. There's this, this precept that says he, he ruled in the kingdom of men. Yeah, that is um, Nebuchadnezzar. He gave, he gave, um, Nebuchadnezzar gave um, a testimony, you know. Now I'll tell you where it is right now. That is, um, four, yes. Okay, this is Daniel. Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. He said, This is the matter. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the and the dam by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it, it to whosoever he will and set it up over it to the basis of men. The most high ruleth. The Most High controls every damn thing. He has everything in control. He gives the kingdom to anyone he, he decides to give the kingdom. He has given the kingdom right now to the basest of all men, which is Edom, Esau, Aishashua, the so-called white man that's in power today. He's the basest of all men, and the Most High has given him the kingdom. So they shouldn't think and, you know, take it as a, as a proudful thing that they're in power. It's not by themselves, you know, it's not by their, their wisdom. It's not of how wise they are, it's the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai that actually, you know, gave them that kingdom, you know? So let's go back. Yeah, I think we stop at uh, 21. I want you to read. No, take, read from 25, 23. Okay. Daniel 5, 23. But has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven and have brought the vessels of the of his house before thee, and thou, and thy laws, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them. Can and this is this is Esau is also found wanting of this. He has brought he has brought us the vessels, which we are the vessels of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. He has brought us into his house. He's drinking wine with us. It's different philosophies. Jakes are filled with different philosophies of men. Jakes are mad. They are drunk, but not with wine, but they stagger, you know? This is what Esau has done. And he's found wanting of this, you know? Because we are the vessels of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Keep reading. And Tyre has praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, could see not, nor hear, nor know, not God in whose hand 
thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified. Verse 24. Then was part of the hand sent from him, and his writing was written. Verse 25. And this is the writing that was written. Mene, mene, teke, ofasen. Ofasen. Yeah. <laughs> Keep reading. This is the interpretation. So you see, that writing is what we, we the prophets of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, this is what we're doing right now. You know, we're putting those writings on the wall. We are writing, mene, mene, opafasen. You know? An interpretation. And we, this is going to be the interpretation. We are already interpreting everything. You know, this is the interpretation, you know? Okay, this is verse 26. This is the interpretation of the thing. Mene. God, who is Yahweh, has numbered thy kingdom. Can. And finish it. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has numbered the kingdom of Edom, Esau, Ishashua. You know, he has numbered it. And there is a certain fixed date in which this kingdom is dropping. And there is nothing he can do. He can call all his magis, you know, the, the, the scientists and all this. He can do whatever he wants. He cannot, he cannot do anything. This is the second book of Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. It's already written. And we know, according to the scripture, that Esau is the end of the world. So when Daniel speaks of the last kingdom, you know, that kingdom where the small horn comes out from, you know, we know that that small horn is Edom. It's, es it's Edom, Esau, you know. This is the interpretation of the thing. Mene. Yahweh has numbered thy kingdom and finish it. 27. Take it. Thy at weight in balance and at found wanting. Can. And Esau is found wanting, man. Esau has been weighed in balance of the Most High Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai. And he's found more wanting than any other kingdom of the earth. He has committed more abominations than any other kingdom. You know? These other kingdoms, they took the vessels, the physical vessels from, from the temple. You know, but Esau has taken the spiritual vessels yeah. of the temple. In his hands were found, you know, the souls of men. And, and, and he I, took the physical vessels and the spiritual vessels. Uh, in our law, there's in our, one of our law, he said that if a man thief a man, something like that, and it is found in him, he shall be put to death. You know? I don't know if uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's here. not death, you know. No, it's not, it's not dead. I don't think it's dead. Let me find it. Ah, if a man finds, um, if a man that is, if, he, if, he, if, he, if he's man. still a man, yeah. can, yes, yes. If he's still a man. A man. Still, or man. still. Oh. Let me find it. Okay. Is this one turned off? Can you imagine? Just turn over by itself. Okay, yeah, that, that's, I think that's that was 27, 22. Let me check. If a man shall deliver up to his member. No, 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 no. So, no Deuteronomy. This is if this, a man this is be it. found, okay. Yeah, it's Deuteronomy, what? 27. Just read it. 27. Deuteronomy 24 to 7. 24 to 7, okay. Can! Ooh, this is powerful, man. Yeah. Get it. Get it. So, you know, we were saying that Esau is found wanting, you know, he has stolen the vessels of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, in which we are his vessels, you know. Esau has stolen us, and this is the judgment if a man is found stealing another man. Read. This is Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 7. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel, and make it majesty of him, or select him, then that thief shall die, and thou shall put evil away from among you. Can you imagine? <laughs> he saw his found ones, man. This is the law. It's going to be judged according to the law. That is why, you know, after a thousand years, it's going to be totally exterminated. You know, that thousand years is going to pay for all his sins. You know, it's going to, it's going to go into hardcore slavery. And after that thousand years, it's going to be totally exterminated. Obadiah 1, 1, 1, 13. 118. 118, sorry, you know. 
because it's, this is the law, man. Yep. If you if you if you steal another man, that person should be put to death, man. Yep. So Esau's Esau's judgment is total death, you know. He has stolen us. He has sold us. He has done every damn thing you can imagine that a person can do to a human being. Esau will just take a man. He will open his body up and start look doing different kinds of stupidness, you know. All in the name of, 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 of laboratory search and other BS, you know. Verse 28, Daniel 5, 28. Bears, thy kingdom is divided and given to the maze and the patience. 29. They commanding. So death. now it's changing. The kingdom of Esau is divided and it's given to the saints of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahu Shai. Okay. Keep reading. Verse 29. Then commanded Belshazzar and and No, they, no, that's good. We're true. Let's okay, go back. True. Yeah, let's go back to Samuel, second Samuel, second Samuel 2 6. You know? So I'm just we just went into all this to let you know that, you know, these Americans, so-called Americans that are in power, that people think that, you know, their military power is outstanding. It's unstoppable, you know. The most I actually created everything, you know. And when the time comes that these people should go down, they will go down, man, like a, like a house of cards, man. They will go down crumbling like a house of cards. And no one can stop them. No one can save them. Because it has been decreed by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. Did you see that um, Belshazzar, when, when it, this decree was made for him, did he try to protect himself and fight against um, his, himself? No. He knew that that was the end. He just actually sat on his, on his, on his throne. And he was killed on his throne that night, you know. Yeah, Based on what you are saying, yes. this picture, they say, no one can save me. That picture, I always say, for, for, okay, I've seen it. Good. This is Isaiah chapter forty-seven, verse thirty. You say, oh, let me start from one, then. I'll read from one. Then, then the thirteen. Isaiah chapter 47, he says, from 1, say, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of Chaldeans. For thou shall no more be called tender and delicacies. Delicate. Delicates. Delicates. Yeah. So, you, as you can see right there, it's speaking about the daughter of the Chaldean. Daughter of Babylon, you know, which is the daughter of Babylon. Does Babylon have a daughter? Yes, the daughter is um, uh, America, United States, the mother of all wars, you know. Yeah, you know, this, 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 you know, we just read down here. This is similar to what is going to happen to this present kingdom, you know. So here and I is saying that their kingdom is over, you know, uh, 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 the kingdom is about to take away from them. Now listen to 12, it says, this is Isaiah 47, 12, it says, Stand now with thy enchantment and with the multitude of thy sorceries. Your entire has labored from. Because these people, as we were saying, they labor only in their sorceries and in their enchantments. This is where they, they labor in, you know. They spend all, they sold all different kinds of heavy money that can, that can actually change the course of humanity through help and other thing, they use them to make researches on how to destroy humanity, you know? This is their sorcery. And remember, the word sorcery goes back to pharmacia. Okay? okay. Labor from thy youth, if so be, thou shalt be able to be, to, to profit, to profit. If so be, thou may I prevail. Which means it's Thou may I prevail. Yeah. So 13 says, thou art worried, thou art well, in the multitude of thy castles, let now thy astrologers, the, astrologers. the stargazers, the monthly pro procrastinators, pro Man, this voice. <laughs> the monthly procrastinators, well, pronosticators, pronosticators. Sorry. Yeah. pronosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So Esau has labored all his life from his youth, from the beginning, he has labored in all this witchcraft and all this wickedness on how to manipulate things, you know, how to rule the world and all these things. Now that this judgment has been set on him, 
let him call his scientists to come and save him. Yeah. Because even there is a scripture that says, um, uh, is there, is there wisdom shall no more longer be found in Timon. Timon. Yeah. And Timon is the, is, the, is the brain power of Esau, which are the Germans, the Nazi, the Nazi scientists, you know. So there is no wisdom that's going to be found in them anymore, you know. They can't save themselves from the destruction that is coming. So going back to Samuel 2, 6, read. read. Okay, this is Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 2 from 6. It says, the Lord killeth and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. Verse 8. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the down hill to set them among the priests and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. So it's the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that does all things. Go back to Revelation 13. Let's go and conclude it. The most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai does everything, you know. He puts people in power, you know. So you can't you can't you can't say that the most high cannot bring down these devils that are in power. The most high will definitely do that. You know, it takes him, it costs him nothing, man. The most high has taken down, you know, kingdoms that are even stronger than this this weak kingdom, man. Because this kingdom is weak, you know, and you can find the quality of these kingdoms by the by the the vision of the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had. You know, the head of gold, you know, the chest of um, of silver, the the belly of brass, you know, the the legs of iron. You know, it's tight. the kingdoms are always losing quality. This is the least of all kingdom. So the matter that it's not even only iron; it's iron mixed with clay. Can you imagine? You know. So this kingdom is the least, is the weakest of all the kingdoms. And what's going to happen? A stone, the great millstone is going to be dashed on the foot. Yeah. It's going to bring down everything. And what's that great millstone? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai alongside his, his, his saints, you know. We are actually preparing the way for the return of Yahweh Shai. You know, we're writing on the wall with the chalks. We're writing men take up upper fasten. We're, 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 we're showing them that this is it, you know. So let's go back to uh, Revelation. Going back to Revelation 13. Revelation 13, 15, it says, And he, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So... This, these people that are in power now, this system, this crazy democratic system that they've created, USA, you know, they have the power, they, they, they were given the power of that, of that um, dragon, you know, which is the Romans. So whosoever does not follow their, their, their ways, they will be killed. Okay, now a good example is when they went down to Iran, Iraq, they come, they present you with democracy. Then if you refuse, what happens? They pour down bombs on your house, man. They sanction you. They sanction you. They give you all different kinds of things, you know. Destroy nations. So if you don't accept their ways, they, 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 they come with their destruction, with their sword, what they were blessed with. Yeah. So this is how you know that we are actually still living in the ancient Roman Empire. And these devils that are in power, you know, they need to go down, man. They need to go down. And they'll continue doing all these things. Until the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai stops them. Keep reading. Verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Already that you know. You see that they're already making that one, which is um, the, the brain chip that they, they're actually preparing, you know. But the MOTB, the right MOTB that's going to be given to everyone is, is the microchip, you know. They already have that in use in, in Sweden and in other parts of Europe, you know. And all these people that are, that are saying otherwise, you know, they'll, they're going to be put to shame. Because these prophecies are coming, they're getting more reviewed. We are seeing these prophecies more and more as we get closer to the time, you know. So you still have time to, 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 to repent and stop these evil ways that you follow and return back to, to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. There is still time. The door is still opened, you know. But there is coming a time in which that door of message is going to be locked. You can't come in anymore. There is a time in which ourselves wouldn't be able to come outside to teach this truth, you know. 
according to the book of um, Amos um, 8 11, you know, the famine of the world is coming because Esau is always busy. You know, it never takes any break, man. He work day in, day out, night in, night out, you know. They have all their different meetings and they are trying to prepare a way to change the narrative of the Hebrew Israelites. So we wouldn't be able to teach outside anymore. So the door is still open, you know. Mercy is still right there, available for you to grab onto. But these people are blind, man. They are sottish children. Verse 17. And the no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And excuse me, that mark, that mark goes into Karagma, you know? And the word Karagma goes into Karax, which is an etching on the screen, a cut. You know, that's why we know that this is, this is the microchip, you know? Yeah, it's a physical mark. It's a physical mark. It's not something spiritual or whatever. Though it's a physical that has to do with your, it's going to destroy you spiritually, you know? But it's a physical mark. And you have two different kinds of mark. There is a mark also spoken of in the book of um, Ezekiel that's going to be set on the, on the righteous. And that word goes to Tawa, you know, which is an exemption, you know? Exemption, Tawa, which is this truth. You know, if you go to Revelation chapter 7, you say, when the Most High command, command, commanded the angel that they should hold the wind Speak out. so that they shouldn't hurt the sun, I mean, they shouldn't hurt the, the trees, you know, because we people, we are likening unto, the, unto like a tree. So that mark now, you know, what could this, most of these people are mistaken is spiritual mark. It's this truth, actually this truth. For you to be able to wake up, you know, repent, you know, we know the, uh, the name of our father, I know what happened, you know, know the truth of this, uh, this scripture. That's the mark, you know, that's the spiritual mark, the exemption, you know. So, it's, uh, verse 17, he said, And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Then 18 says, Here is wisdom, let him that has understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six so you know the, 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 if you read the book of Re revelation not only the book of revelation it's always referring to he who has wisdom yeah. let him hear because this truth is not given to everybody you know yeah. people don't understand what's going on let's go back to the book of daniel 7 and go and complete it you know, this wisdom is not given to everybody. So this 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 truth is, is being sent as a codificated truth to those who have this mark that we say, the spirit of the Most High Yehovah Shemi Shai, the Roka Kodash, is upon them to understand, you know? Because it's not for everybody. That's why, you know, you go to these churches, you sit down for four hours, five hours, and you go back home more wicked than you enter the church, you know? They don't teach you anything. All different kinds of madness in the church the other day i don't know i sent you a video i don't know if you watched it on instagram that in the church the woman was twerking on on, okay. on, the, on the ground this is this is at the churches man yeah. that was horrible. this is this this is christianity you know a religion created by by by, by your oppressors you know for the oppressed which are the so-called hebrew israelites to, re to keep you in darkness to hold you down to tie you down I think we stop at uh, 24, right? Yeah, I believe so. Daniel 7, 24, it says, And the ten horns, horns. ten horns out of this kingdom are the, the ten kings that shall arise, and another shall arise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. And those three kings that I said, that's speaking of the Spaniards, the French, and the and the and the Britons, okay, and who, who took over them? America. America had a war with these three countries, you know, and it subdued them. Verse twenty-five. Verse twenty-five. And he shall speak great wars against the Most High, and he shall wear out the scent of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and a time. And the dividing of time. So as we see, this man, he has actually changed laws and times, man. 
he has changed the course of everything. That's why we are actually in the 10th month, but to them, we are actually in the 12th month. Just imagine, man. This man has turned the order of things all around, but it's given to him to do that because, you know, someone needs to play the part of the wicked. And the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has created this perfect wicked man. You know, there is nobody that could act this part better than Esau, you know. So he's actually doing his, he's, he's doing his course, you know, he's doing what the Most High has actually created him to do, to be the wicked, you know, to do abomination, turn things around. Your turning of things, what's that scripture in, the, in, in Isaiah? It says your turning of things shall be counted to the... Um, I think Isaiah 34. Isaiah 29, 16, I believe. I believe. Or Jeremiah, um, is it Isaiah 17, 14 or Jeremiah 49, 10? No, 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 it's not. So let me look at it. Turning of things, you know? Because these people, they turn things upside down. They do what they want, you know, because the power is given to them, you know. They take the truth, they turn it all around and rebrand it. And once a truth is being rebranded, what's it? It becomes a lie. It becomes a lie because the truth doesn't need to be justified. The truth doesn't need any rebranding or any covering. So any truth that's been, you know, touched and tampered with, it becomes a lie. You get yeah, Isaiah 29, 16. This Isaiah 29, 16 says, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the tin frame say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. Can, and this is exactly what this man is doing. It's just like you, you make a, a pot of clay or you create yourself an axe and this axe starts speaking and starts telling you, no, you did not make me. You know, this is not how you do it. You know, the pot of clay that you made is now trying to, to control you and tell you how to do things. This is pure madness, man. Yeah. You should go back to Daniel 7. Yeah. Daniel 7, 26 says, But the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to, con to consume and to destroy it unto the end. 27. The kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. 28. Here I too, he there too, is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my agitations must trouble me, and my countenance changed me, but I kept the matters in my heart. So this kingdom is going to be taken and it's going to be given to the saints, you know. Just like we said earlier, the last shall be the first and the first shall be last, you know. But then in order for you to partake, you know, if you read, if you read um, when we were reading um, the book of um, Revelation 13, it says those that their names were not found written in the book of life. Those were the people that followed this beast, you know? So how do you find, how do you, how do you get your name written in the book of life to escape all this destruction that is coming? Remember, there is going to be a time, um, Daniel 12, 1, you know? A time like never before, a time of destruction, you know? A time like never before, remember? So how do you get exempt from this, you know? By coming back. You know, to your heritage, coming out of all these philosophies, you know. As a matter of fact, let's get the book of. Um, you want to read this one? You want to read this one? Okay. Let's get the book of Psalm 91. Okay. Let's just quickly go through it. You know, because in order for you to come back, you need to you need to embrace your heritage back, and your heritage goes back to this truth, coming out of all your wicked philosophies, you know. Washing yourself by the truth of this word, by the water of this word, you know, that's what's going to keep you safe in these times that are coming. Because, hey, this year that we just got into, it's no child's play, my nigga. It's no child's play, you know. 
all hell is about to break loose, man. This is Psalm 91 verse 1. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What is the secret place of the Most High? The secret place of the Most High is this truth, man. Because this truth is a secret. Now, if you read the book of Proverbs chapter 30, it tells you who created the heavens, who created the earth. Does thou know his name or do you know his son's name? You know, these names are kept secret, you know. But the Most High, you know, according to wisdom, it makes people his friends. You know, wisdom makes people his friends. That's, I believe, in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, is it seven? You know, this wisdom is what makes the most well, people friends with the most high back. This wisdom, this knowledge, this truth, it reconciles you back to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And this knowledge is not given to the most outspoken, it's not given to the most intelligent or whatever. You know, it's given to the meek, those who humble themselves. If you want to have this knowledge, this spirit, you need to humble yourself before the Most High Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Be ready to lose all these things that are linking you to this kingdom. You know, the scripture tells you that for it's going to be easier for, 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 for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than a rich man. You know, to go into the kingdom of heaven. People are not ready to lose certain things, you know. And you see this life, nothing comes without sacrifice, man. Keep reading. Verse 2. I will say, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is our refuge and our fortress. You know, and this truth shall be the stability of their time. You know, in the time all people are going to be catching hell, people are going to be worried of how they eat, how they do that. Or men, men are going to have their Bibles, and this is going to be our food, man. The Most High is going to provide for us. We are going to laugh in that period of times that people are going to be crying, you know. This is the importance of having this truth, you know. My power in him will I trust. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the power and from the... And what's a snare? A snare is like a trap, you know. These devils, they set traps for you in all angles. Their food is a trap. Their water is a trap. Their laws are a trap. Everything they do is just a trap to ensnare your soul. The Vicky Venom that they're giving is a trap. You take it, man, and you become a, a dumb zombie, man. The MOTB that they're bringing is the biggest of all traps, man. You know? So if you if you have the truth, if you know, if you call on the true name of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, you're humble enough to come back and forsake all this, your religion, you know, doesn't, you don't need to care about what people think about you or what people are going to say. Because this is the major problem with many people. They get to know this truth, but then they are worried about what their family is going to say about them. They are worried about how they, what their wife is going to think, you know. Many brothers in this truth, you know, they, they refuse this truth just because of their wives. Many brothers refuse this truth just because of their jobs. Many refuse this truth because of what people are going to say about them, you know. If you have this kind of spirit and mindset, you know, you're doomed, you're destined for death, man. Yeah, they are ashamed, they are ashamed of the gospel. They are ashamed of the gospel, man. Verse, verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. What's the noisome pestilence? The missiles that are coming. Okay. There are all different kinds of pestilence, but the major pestilence is that missile that's going to destroy this place, you know? And hey, you don't want to get yourself found, you know, being burnt alive by those fire, man. That's the lake of fire. That's the major judgment. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shed and buckler. Okay, the truth of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai shall be our shield and buckler. Now, going to the book of Ephesians, um, chapter 6, you know, it tells you to put on your helmet of this truth, you know, to guide your loins with, your, with, with, with all this helmet of the truth, you know. Because if you have this truth, you're covered under the shadows of the Most High. He's going to cover you with, with his wings. Yeah, wisdom, because wisdom and knowledge shall we, be this. Can. So now, you see, the destruction, the major destruction that you, you're, you, you want to pray to be protected from, because you see, you see this, this destruction comes by grade, you know, famine, pestilence, and many things, you know, 
persecutions of the saints then the major one is going to be the, 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 the destruction which is fire and this this proves to you that you know you have the first death and the second death the first death was by by water during the times of noah the second death is by fire which are two elements of purification the earth was so con was so contaminated that the most i had to pur purify it again with water and now this time it's going to be true fire and this goes back to to the, to the book of proverbs is it 30 that most i has a just balance you know fire and water man you don't want to you see man people don't know how terrible the most i is you know you don't want to find yourself wanting man or slacking and get caught up in this in this judgment you know that's why you need to fear the most high and the fear of the most high is the beginning of wisdom once you start fearing him you know that's the first step in getting this the on this understanding of this knowledge and this wisdom you know yeah and also fear him is also by departing from evil you know ah. because there's no way people of this world today don't fear the lord that's why they can do everything they want you know, a lot of people are getting mad, smoking, you know, doing all kinds of, walking around nude. So they don't have the fear of the Lord. They have the fear of the Lord. They won't be acting such, you know. So by, imagine human beings going out nude, you know, our women, you go on social media and see what they are doing. So how can Mosa impart wisdom on such a person? That's impossible, you know. So the beginning of wisdom is actually departing from evil, knowing the truth, knowing what it requires of you knowing what a man should be and what a woman should be. A lot of women today don't even know the meaning of a woman. You know, that's why they want to do, they want to be like man, man, want to be like woman, you know? They don't have, they have, they have, they absolutely have no fear of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, you they know? don't have the covering of the Most High. They have the covering of their enemy, you know? Our people were taken in slavery. It's over, uh, uh, it's all over the part of the four corners of the world. Today, they are acting like the, the, the people who took them slavery. They're acting like they are oppressors. You know, they are, they are, they are acting like they are one equal right with them. And <laughs> excuse me, this is exactly what the letter of Jeremiah says, you know. What the brother is just saying, this is exactly what the book on um, the letter of Jeremiah says, yeah. you know. The letter of Jeremiah tells you, you know, it was Jeremiah, you know, giving, warning the sons of Israel that they are going to be carried into these countries, that they needed not to be afraid and follow the ways of these Edens, you know. We were being warned, you know. Like we are carried away slavery now. We have the scriptures to warn us, but we don't give heed to the scriptures, you know. Jakes go to the to the library. They buy all they buy all different kinds of books, philosophy books, theosophic and that 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 that. But the real book that contains everything, the way to life, they leave it by, just by the side, you know. They abandon it, you know. Go on. But 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 five. Psalm 91 verse 5 said, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Verse 6, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. This is talking about the missiles, you know. The missiles. Now the Russians, they have missiles that can fly at a very fast speed. In 20 minutes, even less than 20 minutes, they get to the United States, man, from Russia. So some people might be thinking, oh, okay, you know, my built an uh, underground bunk in some places, you know. In 20 minutes, before you start running into your car and get there, you're taken by the missiles, man. You know? Niggas are going to be catching missiles on that day, man. And we're praying. That's why we're coming out, you know, week in and week out, you know, with the fear of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, praying for his protection on those days, man. You know? Verse 7, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So, Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And this is speaking about, you know, when we'll be beamed up in the chariots, you know, you see people dying, man, from the chariots, we're going to be looking all the way down, you know. And that's, that's, through the chariots, we're going to see the reward of the wicked. Lake of fire, man. The missiles are going to be burning people. And Kalala Yaba Shemiao Shai, Yaba Shemiao Shai Rataza will be part of that numbers that will be saved. That will be will be on the chariot, you know, witnessing all these things, you know. That's why you really need this, you need you really need this truth right now and start getting things straight, you know. Straighten up your ways, man. Make your room clean, make everything clean because your house, the temple, 
is your body, the temple of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Clean it up, you know, because it doesn't want to come back and find you wanting, you know. You catch some wicked destruction, man. Yeah, like Belshazzar. Like Belshazzar, you know. Verse 9. Because Ta has made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Because we have made the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai our habitation. Our place of refuge is in this truth. Yep. In this truth, we find peace. In this truth, we find refuge. In this truth, we find everything we need. Okay? Outside this truth, we are nothing, man. Yep. So we make our, uh, our refuge the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We don't make our bank accounts our refuge. We don't make our jobs our refuge. We don't make any other things our refuge, you know? But we make the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai our refuge. Calling on that true name. Forsaking the wicked names that has no meaning. Jesus, Jehovah, and all that crap. Yeshua. They make no meaning. No sense. Verse 10. There shall no evil before thee. Neither shall any place come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. So you see, many brothers go outside to teach. And we've seen diverse videos that, you know, the brothers will be teaching outside and they see, they spot the chariots up in the sky, you know. My battery is beginning to die, okay. They spot, they spot the chariots in the sky, you know. These chariots, you know, they, 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 they are actually going to be protecting us, you know, watching over us. We have chariots right now, you know, watching over us. We might not be able to see them. But well, we know we have chariots, you know, watching over us. These are the angels of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They are the eyes of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They see every damn thing that you do. There is nothing you do in the hidden that's not going to be brought to light. Because the eyes of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are everywhere. The chariots are everywhere. Beholding good and evil. Beholding good and evil. So everyone will make account of what he has done on that day, you know? So that's why we, we, we're doing all these things, you know. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of wisdom, you know. All this thing. We're praying to have His protection, you get. So anyway, the, the, the battery is going down. Just quickly read down, you know. Okay, verse 12 says, They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against stone. That is. Thou shalt tread upon the lions and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample on their feet. So you see, the, the, the verse he just read, it shows you that the devils, you know, the Satan, they also know the scriptures, you know. That was exactly what they were trying to tell you, how shy, that jump from this height, the angels are going to bear, bear you in their arms, so you don't dash your feet on the, on the uh, you don't dash your feet, you know. But anyway, just keep reading. Uh, that was just, by the way. Verse 14, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. Oh, what did he just say? He has known my name. What did he just say? He has known my name. So we are going to be protected from everything because we have known the Most High yeah. Yahweh Hashem Yahushua's name. Yeah. His name is not Jesus, it's not, it's not Jehovah, it's not anything. You know, his name is, is Yahweh is a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Judah. You know, he's a Hebrew Israelite and has a Hebrew Israelite name, not a Greek name. Not a Renaissance, Renaissance BS name, you know. His name is Yahawah. His name of, the name of his son is Yahawah Shai. You know, he says he's going to protect us because we have known his name. Yeah, this Proverbs 18 verse 10, he said, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. The name of the Lord, Yahawah Hashem Yahushai, is a strong tower. The righteous run it onto it and are saved, you know. So if you don't have these names, you're not saved. That's it, man. If you, do, if you don't have these names, you're not saved. You're doomed, you know. So, hey, as we said it, you know, we just got into the new year of this mad people. But we know it's not the new year. But, you know, this new year, 2022, is going to be a wicked year. A year like never before, man. Judgments are going to be unfolding in all different angles. You don't want to find yourself wanting. You don't want to find yourself wanting, man. Fear the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and be saved, you know. Having said this, we hope this lesson was edifying through the Spirit. would like to give all praises to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Hashem
are double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few aquats, you know. Abad babal. Hopefully this is the last year we're going to be here, yep. you know. And stay strong, you know. Put your trust in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. This is the GMS Italy camp. Shalom. Shalom.